everyone, Overkill48 here again with another video. This time I'm going over a Morphinomal special covering my newest additions for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers up to Super Mega Force. I don't have something for everything in between, but I do have some cool stuff nonetheless. So sit back and enjoy, and always remember, it's Morphin Time. Alright. First up I want to show you is my newest addition in the Funko Pop line, which is actually a Dorb. Here we go. And it's a Toys R Us exclusive Rita Repulsa. I don't collect many Dorbs. The only other one I have actually is a normal release uh, Deadpool that I found on clearance. But I couldn't pass it up because I don't have any... Rita Repulsa Funkos other than the movie version and I don't think they've made one yet. You can see the back inside some of the Rangers they make. Bottom and top. There she is, Rita Repulsa. Got her little staff. Like this one a lot better due to the show accuracy. More so than a movie, actually. Although I did like the movie version of Rita Repulsa somewhat, I thought that she was one of the better parts of the show itself. That being said, next up is my newest DVD Power Rangers Mega Force, The Legendary Battle, extended edition movie. Good thing is, is Walmart had this for. Six ninety six, if I'm not mistaken, and as you can see, it comes with six dollars in movie cash to use towards watching the live action in newest movie. And I was not a fan of how they treated Mega Force. Um, I thought that they could have done better with it, being the twentieth anniversary. They had 20 years of stuff to use with, um, you know, Mighty Morphin up to Super Mega Force. They could have had such great scenes leading up to the Legendary Battle if they wanted to, but they didn't even go that route. They kind of threw in stuff from Super Sentai that didn't make sense. Um, but you can look up videos online. I mean, YouTube's eat up with videos, Power Rangers. It goes a little bit more in depth. But I will say that the extended edition is a little bit better. Um, so if you're going to get it or want to watch it, go for that. And you won't be as disappointed. You, If you're a Mighty Morphin fan or a Zeo, you know, old school like myself, even in space and Lost Galaxy, some of the earlier stuff, it doesn't do the uh, Rangers much justice. But it's still a fun watch nonetheless. All right. Next up is, was my early Easter present from my wife. As you can see, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the complete first season. This is a massive box set. Let's see the side Power Rangers, the complete series. It contains all 155 episodes. You see all the seasons here. Season 1, 2, 3, Alien Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers bonus features, and it's got a book inside. Was super excited to get this. I got it on the Flash sale from Shout Factory for 35 bucks. I didn't have any of them previously, so I was super stoked for this, and my wife got it for me, like I said, early Easter present, and... If you're a Power Rangers fan, this is definitely going to want to get. And I'm hoping to go to Fanboy in, in the summer and get this autographed by some of the Rangers. Jason Deva Frank's going to be there. Uh, Amy Jo Johnson's going to be there. Steve Cardenas is supposed to be there, which is the second Red Ranger Rocky. And then in my the town of Bristol, actually, in October, Billy, the Blue Ranger, and Aisha, the second Yellow Ranger, are going to be in Bristol. So I could knock off a lot of signatures, and on top of that, every year in Yamakon, Johnny Young Bosch, who plays Adam, the Black Ranger, 
he shows up every year. He's got a contract deal with Yamakon that he he's there, and that makes it very good. What we'll do is we'll take some of this out and look at it. We'll start with the bonus disc. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers bonus features. Sorry for the angles, by the way. I am working on getting something to prop up better with. As you can see, it's a two-disc set. Doesn't specify inside what the bonus features are. You got the little lightning effects and stuff. But on the back, you look and you see two discs exclusive bonus features. Look back at the Mind Morphin Power Rangers phenomenon with brand new interviews featuring members of the cast and creative team. A more phenomenal cast. Talks about the casting director, the fans power up. Talking about the series itself. And it's got some episodes on there as you see Lord Zed's Monster Heads, Alpha's Magical Christmas. It's got Rare Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fan Club video, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Kali Club, The White Ranger Kata, Power Rangers Live, The World Tour, and more. I'm not sure what the more is. I have not checked it out yet. But it's pretty cool to have with the set. And it's got my favorite ranger on the front. Um, not necessarily the White Ranger. It's hard for me to decide between the white and green, but Jason David Frank as Tommy nonetheless is my favorite ranger. So next we'll go to Season 1. Might as well look at them in order. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the complete first season. You can see six disc set. There's a little synopsis about the first season. And you can see Season 1 does have 60 episodes. And this will be the season that covers the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And the bringing in of the Green Ranger. As you can see, it's cool because behind the discs, it's got episode titles for you. Disc 1, 2, 3, and 4 shows all of them. Disc 5. And six. And there it is. Mind Morphin Power Rangers, the complete first season. Next up, Mind Morphin Power Rangers, the complete second season, which is the end of the Green Ranger saga and introducing the White Ranger. Also, is my favorite villain in the entire Power Rangers franchise is introduced this season, which is Lord Zed. It's a funny little tidbit. He was supposedly too scary, and the parents had complained. It made him look more comical, which brought in the read of marriage. It made him a little bit less threatening than he had started out to be. You see on the back, there is Lord Zed himself. Um, I have had the privilege of meeting Robert Axelrod in the past at Yamacon and gotten his autograph on one of the little mini figures I have. It's a pretty cool guy. Um, but you can see season two right here contains all 52 episodes of season two. We'll do the same. Look inside. Now we got the pink lightning effect. Take the disc off. There they are. The episode titles. For disc one, two, three, and four. If you want a complete list of the episode titles, um, you can find it on Wikipedia, or if you would like for me to do it, I will uh, list them for you. Five and six, the red lightning effects. And it's to be noted uh, that season two also brought about the introduction of the Thunder Zords. Which some people like better than the Dino Zords. It's a toss up. Uh, the White Ranger is the only Ranger used from Sentai footage at this point. The rest were still from Zoo Ranger. And the White Ranger from Die Ranger, I think, is how to pronounce it. Sorry if I'm incorrect on the pronunciation of that. 
Next up, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 3. As you can see, they're in their ninja costumes. And this brought about uh, their ninja powers from Ninjor. And they had a movie tie in to go with this too that brought in the Ninja Zords. But the show went a different route. It didn't uh, follow the movie per se, it told its own story of it. And it kind of got to the same point either way. Uh, as you remember in the movie, John Young Bosch Adams, his big role was I'm a Frog. He got some laughs out of that. He actually will sign that on some stuff when you meet him. So it's pretty cool. But this season, uh, Rita's brother, Rito Revolto, shows up, destroys the Thunder Zords, and brings in this possibility for them to meet Ninja or and said story I was talking about. You can see it's got a picture of Zed and Rita and the Ninja Rangers. Um, I, my favorite uh, Zord in this season, or Thund or uh, Megazord, I should say, in this season, was the Shogun Megazord. I actually liked it better than the Ninja Megazord, although I did like the Ninja Megazord pretty good too. And you can tell it talks about Rita Revolto here, but it also talks about Rita's father, Master Vile, showing up. And that leads into the next season that we'll be talking about in just a second. Master Vile stuff was pretty good. Um, he brought in a darker sense to it, but one of his monsters he brought in had some of the Die Rangers uh, helmets on it. And you just have to look it up to see. It was pretty funny that they didn't go through the trouble of trying to touch that up or make it look like the Mighty Morphin. By this point, they were using a, a lot of American footage instead. So I think they were getting burned out on doing that, plus not so much footage anymore, and that's why they were bringing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to an end. You can see this contains all 33 episodes of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 3, which is in theory the end of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, leading up to, of course, uh, Power Rangers Zeo, which was another good season. But before we get to that, you'll see here's the sets. Just one, two, three, and four. There's the titles. You can see the disc with the black lightning this time. With the earth there. Another good set. Each time you notice the number of episodes have went down, but it still contains all 50, 155 in total in this set. Before we ever got the Zeo though, we have Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. And I think a lot of people remember that. Here's the costumes that I was talking about that um, were never really used. But they decided these are the Rangers. Um, I go back and correct myself. It wasn't the Die Rangers. I think that was for the uh, Thunder Zords. These Rangers are Kaku Rangers, I think. Like I said, I will correct myself once again. Um, if I'm wrong, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let everybody else know if you do know, if you're knowledgeable of this. Um, I've not watched anything but Zoo Ranger. So, um, with that being said, they brought these costumes in. These were the Rangers that controlled the Ninja Zords and the Shogun Zords. And it's funny that in the Sentai version, Shogun Zords come first and the Ninja Zords last. But they changed this up in the American version, I'm assuming, to give Tommy the Falcon Zord. Also should be noted that the Shogun Zord was white in the show, but when they made the toy, they turned it into pink to appeal to some female, uh, you know, the girls collecting and wanting the toys to try to help out with that aspect. I went over this. Previously, I found it in a uh, $5 bin at Walmart, so this is a double copy. But you'll see the 10 episodes here, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. And this was the finale to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that led up to Power Rangers Zeo, which is another great season in my opinion. I'll be getting it next. Last thing in the box is the book. It's actually pretty neat. I was flipping through it. I seen, you know, it tells you about different things in it. The complete series, it gives you a rundown. It's got character bios, 
pictures. We'll just flip through it really quick and get you a good running of it. While we're going through it, if you want to in the comments, let me know who was your favorite ranger. Like I said, mine was Tommy, Jason David Frank. Not any color in general. He's been the green ranger, the white ranger, the red zeal ranger, the red turbo ranger for half a season, and the black dino thunder ranger. But I do like his Mighty Morphin counterparts the best. And Lord Zeb was my favorite villain. So if you want to, let me know who your favorite ranger villain was in the comments. We'll do a discussion about that. I do like this picture. I would like to have a poster of it, actually. Adam, Johnny Young Boss, up here. Great guy if you ever get a chance of meeting him. He even gives you the episodes and everything in it. There's the Mass Rider. That was not necessarily liked by many fans, but it was still neat to see. We're into the Alien Rangers. And here you see in, in these episodes uh, of Alien Rangers is their quest for the Zeo Crystal. Which it actually hinted at a little bit in the movie. Uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it yet. Hopefully if you're a fan you wanted to see it you've seen it by now. It has been out a little while. That's the book. That's the set. That is a very awesome Easter present from my wife. And this nice slip box. Get it all put back in. So, I'm not done yet though. I have one more thing to show you. It was the thing I've been waiting on to do this video. It is my ranger keys this goes back a little while this was for the 20th anniversary of power rangers for power ranger super mega force uh, you heard me touch on with the legendary battle there and what you see here is keys from lightspeed rescue me and my daughter have been collecting mighty morphin power ranger stuff and when super mega force came out we started collecting keys and we'll share them uh whoever she likes will i'll let her have whoever i like i'll take and funny thing is, is, I usually end up with the six ranger from each series because she doesn't she doesn't really get into the six rangers too much. Um, her favorite was uh, Adam from Mighty Morphin, and she liked Andros from In Space. So that's worked out. But without further ado, I will open these up and show you who we got. I will show you on the back of the package all the keys you see. It says you can collect. And it shows you what you can do with the mobile app. It shows you a couple little games that you can play with it and stuff. And it shows you the morpher. My daughter does have the morpher. And it is pretty neat. There's the package again. With the map. And most of these were Toys R Us. So you could get them outside of Toys R Us and other stores. But to actually get from a lot of different series, you had to go to Toys R Us and do it. Luckily, if you go online, you can find a lot of them there. So, I will say before I start this that I am not real familiar with Lightspeed Rescue. I have yet to watch this series. I know about the Sixth Ranger. That is it. But, coincidentally, been re-watching Power Rangers with my daughter. And we're up to Lightspeed Rescue. We're getting ready to start. Just finished Lost Galaxy. So I'll show you anyway. Pink Ranger. And what they are. Little keys. Flip up. It's got a little scan code on it. That works with the mobile game. And the key part works in the morpher. And the arms do move up and down. The Yellow Ranger. 
it's the same. And finally is the six ranger. He is a silverish looking ranger, but I think if I'm not mistaken, he was the quantum ranger. And if this is the season I'm thinking of correctly, he was created for the American version of the Power Rangers. There he is. So, been talking about it. Let's see if I can get this to work. You can see, like I was showing you, fits right there. So, let's see if we can scan this thing. There it goes. Hey, it'll actually do a picture of me as the Quantum Ranger. Titanium Ranger, there we go. So it shows you that, and then you do a little mini battle. Special attack unlocked. So we should be able to go to Summon Key Collection, and there he is. And it shows you him right here. The Titanium Ranger. And that's all I have to show you this time. I will apologize for calling him the Quantum Ranger now that I... Um, and thinking right, he is a Titanium Ranger. Quantum Ranger is from Time Force. So, I don't know everything about all 24 years now of Power Rangers. So, I will apologize for that. Um, but, that being said, 24th season coming out uh, this year is the anniversary of Power Rangers Turbo. Not necessarily seen as something great in American eyes. It was based off Sentai version Car Ranger and it was meant to be a light hearted season in America so it, uh, the American version didn't translate well. It, uh, a lot of people didn't like Justin, a lot of people didn't like the original Ranger leaving but I will say that the second half of, of Turbo was actually pretty good so if you get a chance check it out and look at it with an open mind. Don't go into it hating it. Because I've rewatched some of these that I thought I wouldn't like and I ended up liking. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my collection of my newest editions and stuff of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, Power Ranger Super Mega Force, um, Light Speed Rescue. And here's the keys again. I'll leave the two here for my daughter to scan for her. And I actually have a bunch more to scan myself. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. I'll be doing uh, a Q&A next, just be a couple days away. And in that Q&A, we'll be discussing a giveaway. And for that giveaway, I have not decided what I'll be doing. I'm going to Toys R Us tomorrow, so maybe I'll find something there for you guys for getting me to 50. Uh... So congrats to myself on the 50 subscribers, and I'm aiming for 75 next, and we'll go from there. But I will say, if anybody's interested, let me know. I do have an extra version of Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, and that could be a future prize down the road. If you want me to do that, let me know. Until next time, I'll see you later. It's Morphin Time.